they're like 6, 70. When you get both. I really like this one. The length. I also really like this, especially the color. Let's go. So even though I woke up and my foot is extremely bruised and yellow and I'm sorry if that's TMI, um, I still went out today just because I had to pick up a few things. So I actually, I don't know if you can see but that old navy bag, I um, accidentally spent like $80, $85 there. <laughs> they had like 75% off like most of the store. It was absolutely amazing. There was a lot of stuff and a lot of good deals. So. I picked up matching pajama shirts for me and my best friend Paige just because we had matching pajamas one year and we forgot to take pictures with it, um, with them on, but this year I wanted to get us matching pajama pants. Unfortunately, they had none in the sizes. That really irks me about Old Navy, and I saw on Aspen Ovard's vlog, too, that they had, like, just a bunch of one random size, so they only had, like, everything in an extra small, and... Like, that's just so annoying because not everyone's an extra small. Like, honestly, even if they had them in, like, mediums or larges, at least, like, you can either size up or size down in them. But, like, an extra small is kind of hard to fit in. That's... Anyways, so I got us... I ended up finding us matching shirts. So we're gonna have matching Christmas shirts. And I also got her a bath bomb a little while ago when I went to Bath and Body Works. So I hope she... Or Bath Fizz, I guess, if they're from Bath and Body Works. So I hope she enjoys that. And then I went to the mall, um... Because I have to get new winter boots. Unfortunately, they didn't have any. I'm like, oh, I don't know why. So we're going to go tomorrow just because like, I'm really tired. Like I've worked my foot a lot today. And I also went to treatments. And the employees weren't the friendliest or helpfulness. They ignored us. So we just left because they didn't have my jeans from what I could see anyways. Um, and then we went um, uptown and went to my aunt's work so she could get something from her work friends. And then we just started chatting with them. And then we went to the local market because I wanted to get my favorite thing in the world, which is a chicken sandwich. I absolutely love it. I cannot wait to eat it. But yeah, that's what uh, we've been doing today. Everywhere is absolutely crazy, so I didn't really vlog much except for the Old Navy changing rooms and I showed some things. And then I tried on a lot more things as well, but yeah. Now I'm just waiting for my aunt. She is in Walmart. I unfortunately couldn't go in with her because my foot is really starting to pain. And I technically wasn't supposed to walk on it for a week and it's been four days. And I think the really badly bruising is a sign that I need to like chill, but also I want to see my friends and hang out with them and stuff. So it's kind of hard, but yeah. This entire parking lot is filled. It's crazy. I kind of want to go into Urban Planet because they might have some cheap little gifts, but I think I'm done shopping now. I know I always say I'm done shopping and then I buy more, but honestly, like now I have Paige's gift done and I have my bud Diane's gift done. Um, she's like my godmother, so I'm pretty sure that's done. I just need to wrap them. Um, my aunt's sweater came in the mail a while ago and I just have to wrap that. And I have bought two ornaments for her that I have to wrap as well. And well, I have to get like stocking stuffers for her. But other than that, uh, I think that is it. Hopefully, um, I might go out alone and do that. It's just hard to go out alone because, like, I don't know, like, if anything's gonna happen with my foot. So, and I haven't attempted driving since I potentially broke it. Although, I never get a phone call, so hopefully, it's not broken. I have a doctor's appointment on the 28th to go over my x ray and my ultrasound, and I'm getting a flu shot. So, yay, me! <laughs> Let's just, I really hope everything's okay. I knock on wood. I haven't had health problems in a long, 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 long time. When I was a kid, I was sick. I had like five surgeries on my ears. And then in this, in a time span of about six months, I broke both my feet. Well, one was a stress fracture. One was a severe sprain that everyone's pretty sure it was actually a break. But yeah. Since then, you know, I've been good, except for that one mysterious illness I had senior year where I couldn't leave my bed for three days and I couldn't even roll over, but, like, we don't question that. I didn't go to the hospital for that. So, yeah, I just really hope everything's okay. It's very unlike me to be like this. Um, 
I am a klutz, but I don't normally break anything. And, like, I haven't been to the emergency room since the ninth grade. And I'm in my junior year of university. So, it's um, not good. It's definitely not like me. But if I learn one thing, it's that my pain tolerance has grown exponentially. I really, like, I think I've always had somewhat of a high pain tolerance just because I hate 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 going to the doctors or hospitals I don't like needles I don't like things like that unless it is pill form I will not take it I don't like liquid medicine I if it tastes bad I just won't do it um, same thing with pills if they taste funny like they're gone like I don't I don't do that <laughs> um, so I had surgeries on my ears and I thought the worst pain I ever felt was when my eardrum was scraped and like that is like a really bad like sting it literally and it's so annoying and that hurts when I broke my foot I thought that was the worst pain um so I know what pain feels like but the most pain honestly I've ever felt is when they think my appendix was going to rupture that literally oh like I honestly thought I was gonna die not to be dramatic that hurt so bad but yeah that's my little rant, and I'll see you guys when I do something fun. <laughs> World's best sandwich. Yum, yum. Second, Dr. Greg Abbott called it murder.